gives him 986 points, so he's in fourth place. It's still Kugayev of Russia in the lead. Daliyev of uh, South Africa in second, base of South Africa in third. And once again, we're back on the track. This is uh, another final 800 metres, uh, T53, so this is a, a wheelchair category. And you'll recognise some of the names here from uh, other events we've seen across the week. U of Korea in lane two. U2, you could say. Brent Lakatos of Canada in three. Coleman of uh, Australia in four. Seaman of the States in five. George of the USA in six. Hiramishi of Japan in seven. Lee of China in eight. And Fairbank of France in nine. And just looking at the season's bests, you'd say that George of the States in lane six would be the one to watch. And uh, also a decent time from Seaman of the States in uh, lane five. But uh, you of Korea just being introduced to the crowd. This is Lakatos of Canada. Saw him the other night. Very good competitor, Richard Coleman from Australia. Nice smile from him. Just while they're being introduced to the crowd, Natalia's remembered what her inspirational moment of the games is. What is it? Well, you know, it, it actually happened off the track, mm -hmm. but um, there uh, we've given 50 athletes mobile phones to do video blogs, and there's been some incredible stuff coming out on our YouTube channel, behind-the-scenes stuff. And I think the most inspirational one was um, Ireland's Michael McKillop talking about um, his disability and how it was overcome. And it's an incredible personal story. Um, did you know he was, when he was a young kid, he actually walked on tiptoes? And now he's the world record holder and gold medalist. And he got the medal from his mum. Yeah, his mum, his mum was uh, something to do with Procter & Gamble, I think, or one of the sponsors. And uh, it was his mum that presented him with the medal. Right, we'll have this race, and, uh, and, and I'll give you details of where you can watch that YouTube film as well as this race goes on. So off they go, and it's Seaman in lane five and George in lane six, both from the United States who are away extremely quickly. George, 28 years of age, in the red for the United States, going very, very well indeed, and his compatriot Seaman inside him going well. The Australian Coleman in the yellow, he's going well as well, but it's the two Americans and the Australian at the moment. The Americans both in red, the Australian, as you'd expect, in yellow and green. And it's the one with number six on his head at the moment, Joshua George, who goes into the lead, being tracked by Richard Coleman of Australia. Once again, 800 metres, two laps of the track. And it's America, then Australia, then America again. And Lakatos of Canada's now come in between the two Americans in the black and white. Joshua George leading as they take the bell. George from Coleman of Australia, Lakatos of Canada. And these three beginning to get away from the pack a little bit. It's the American in the lead. Then the Australian. Then the Canadian. Chinese competitor coming up on the outside there. That's Lee. But are getting an enormous cheer now as they come round the bend. And this is going to be a really good battle. It's George of the United States from Coleman of Australia. Coleman of Australia getting in the lead. Here comes the Canadian Lakatos with a late run. Coleman of Australia is going to get it. Coleman of Australia on the line is the winner. Lakatos of Canada and then George of the United States in the bronze medal position. That's a great win. Coleman of Australia. And if only Katrina was here. Instead of being at our party, she would have loved that moment. You'll have to do an Australian accent, Natalia. Good eye, mate. You must be delighted about Richard Coleman. Do you know what? I'm getting a bit fed up of you talking about Katrina all the time. Well, it's just that she's a four-time gold medal-winning <laughs> Paralympian, and uh, and you're not. 
<laughs> nor am I, nor am I. Well done, Richard. No, it's just because she was an Australian and, and she knows Richard Coleman really well and she'd be absolutely delighted. But she is a Paralympic ambassador and she's off at some fancy swanky do that we weren't invited to. But we've got work to do anyway, watching the athletics. Yeah, come on, Jeremy, get on with it. What I wanted to know then, um, well, we'll just, let, just have a look at this finish here because uh, Lakatos was, I thought for a while he might catch him. Uh, George had gone away earlier from the States, but Coleman gets it quite comfortably, looks across, Lakatos gets the silver, George gets the bronze. Look at the power in his arms. That's a great shot. Hope you're enjoying uh, these pictures all around the world. Uh, you can see other sports at paralympic.org. We're on this uh, live international stream. We're watching the athletics right through to close the play tonight. Uh, usually end about 10 o'clock. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Paralympic. And you can like the Paralympic movement if you've been inspired by these brilliant athletes. Do go to facebook.com and like the group called Paralympic Games. And also read some of the messages people have been putting there because people have been so inspired. Uh, you said about the YouTube films that people, uh, the athletes, the 50 athletes made on the mobiles. Where can we see them? You can see them at youtube.com forward slash Paralympic Sport TV. And I've also just tweeted the one about Michael McKillop. Oh, excellent. And we just had a question actually through from Adman Carpenter. Right, I'm not sure we do questions now that Katrina's not here because she's the one with the knowledge.